The charity which uses motorbike riders to deliver urgent blood supplies is expanding across the northeast. Northumbria Blood Bikes sends volunteers to transport vital blood stocks to hospitals between the hours of 7 p.m. and 7 a.m. Health experts say the service saves money as well as lives because trusts would have to pay for a courier or for a taxi for those nighttime deliveries. Johnny Blair reports. Their name may be the Northumbria blood bikers, but in reality they travel to Tyne and Weir, County Durham and their newest delivery point, Darlington Memorial Hospital. All are volunteers, all wanted to make a difference. Years and years ago there was some advertising on television for, uh, for a motorcycle company which showed blood bikes in use elsewhere in the country and very quickly thought this is something we could do in the northeast. So a few people got together and decided uh, to express an interest and a year and a half ago that's when we got together and got it formed. So. There were around 15 members at the start. Today there are nearly 100, half of whom are riders. Each has their own reason for joining. Unfortunately, due to a medical condition, I can no longer give blood anymore. So I thought it would be really quite good if I could carry it around for other people instead. The evenings and through, through the night, uh, we, would, uh, we would either use NHSBT ad hoc deliveries or taxi service. And um, there will be, over the course of the year, considerable saving. Um, these savings will go back into direct patient care. Have you had phone calls in the dead of night to, to go out delivering? I have, yes. It's not too bad for me. I've been one of the lucky ones. Who's, most of my calls have been before midnight, early hours of the morning. Uh, the guy last night was, uh, was called about five in the morning. He wasn't too happy. But it's, it's what we're here for. It's, you know, we're quite happy to do it. It's, uh, it's the, the sole purpose for the, the charity. The aim is to keep recruiting volunteers and keep expanding until they can cover every hospital in the northeast. Johnny Blair, ITV News, Darlington.